Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today, I'm here with an experiment that I haven't done yet. And that is, I'm going to use Digital Diamond Baseball to replay a game that I played on my channel on Monday, the 19th of June. And that was the 1985 Pirates visiting the 1985 Braves. I'm going to manage the Pirates, the Digital uh, Diamond AI is going to manage the Braves, the homestanding Braves. And the pitching matchup should be the same thing. I picked both pitchers and Rick Roden started for the Pirates in the game that I did. And I will put that in the, uh, the, uh, on the end screen so that you can click on that if you haven't seen that and go compare the two games. And uh, Zane Smith should be pitching for Atlanta. Now, the computer is going to be totally in charge of what Atlanta's lineup is, so it probably won't be the same lineup that I used for Atlanta in the um, in the uh, card and dice game that I did on Monday, the 19th of June. And my lineup won't even be the same because I don't have some of the guys that I'm supposed to have or that I had as part of the 20 players that came with my 1985 Pirates. So this lineup is as close as I can get. Johnny Ray is going to lead off and play second base, and he did in the real game. Then Marvell Wynn is going to bat second and play center field in place of R.J. Reynolds, who was the center fielder for me in that first game. George Hendrick will then bat third and be the right fielder instead of Mike Brown, because I don't have Mike Brown. And then Jason Thompson will be the first baseman and bat fourth, and I did have him in the original game. And then Jim Morrison, the third baseman, will bat fifth, and I did have him in that spot in the lineup in the original game. And then Steve Kemp will bat sixth and play left field, as he did in the original game. And then J Tony Pena, who was the original game catcher. Then uh, Bill Allman will be the shortstop instead of Sammy Khalifa, again, because I don't have Sammy Khalifa. But... This lineup is, is pretty much, you know, what that lineup was. Marvell Wynn is a poor man's R.J. Reynolds. Uh, Hendrick is a reasonable stand-in for Brown. And Allman is probably a better hitter than uh, Khalifa, but maybe not as good a shortstop. Not sure, but anyway, that is how we line up, and that's how we're going to uh, play it today. And so we'll see how this game unfolds as in comparison to the first game. Now, as a reminder, the Pirates won the first game by the score of 7-5. to five. It was a pretty good game, and uh, for Atlanta, notably, uh, Bob Horner had two home runs, and Dale Murphy was hitless. So we'll see what happens with this game, but we're going to hit the uh, play it, and uh, let's play some baseball. I'm going to say, yeah, let's do it. So Zane Smith is on the mound for them. So let's see. We are going to, well, I thought I was going to be the, uh, I thought I was, uh, they said to pitch, so I guess I'm controlling Atlanta, although I thought I was going to be the Pirates. But anyway, we'll play it out this way, so we'll pitch again. Marvell win. I mean, at least I made the Pirates line up mostly what it should have been. Um, looks like uh, the, the first two guys are out, and so we are going to pitch again. Now, in the first game, Zane Smith was knocked out quickly. He didn't last three innings in the first game, if you go back and watch that. But uh, it looks like he did real well here. So Glenn Hubbard will be the first batter for Atlanta. And as luck would have it, he was the first batter for Atlanta in that actual game. Um, and the third and fourth batters, it looks like, are going to be the same, too. That's going to be, uh, no, they're going to be flip-flopped. Horner and Murphy will be flip-flopped. Um, Murphy batted fourth and Horner batted third in my game. Um, and Rick Cerrone did not, um, he, he was in the game. He was the catcher for Atlanta, but he didn't bat second. So it looks like their lineup is, they got Oberkfell, <clears throat> They have Ramirez. So, again, their lineup is 
mostly the same lineup that um, played for Atlanta in the card and dice game on Monday. Uh, some players are in different spots in the lineup, but it's basically the same guys that are playing. Kaminsk is different. Hall is different. And um, I think that's it. I think that's the only two players playing for Atlanta that are different than who actually played for Atlanta in the uh, in the game on Monday. So with it looks like two oh they've got a run. They Atlanta's got a run. Nice. I didn't even notice that while I was talking about everything that's going on here. So uh looks like Obergfell is gonna be up with Horner on and a run in and two outs. So let's see what happens there with Obergfell. Uh, that's a high number. That's going to be a fly out to Hendricks. So, oh no, they they got a hit. How did they get a hit out of that? I thought that number. You would think that number was too high, but anyway, I guess it wasn't. So now there's runners at the corners. It's one nothing still, but uh, and two outs. But runners at the corners with Brad Kaminsk at the plate. Maybe it's the low numbers that are bad. Yeah, I guess it's the low numbers that are bad. High numbers are better. Um, so anyway, yeah, Atlanta has a one nothing lead here, and we're in the top of the second now with Thompson batting against Smith, who, like I said, didn't last three innings in the game on Monday. So we'll see if today is different for him. And uh, is that a base hit? Nope, it's an out. So Morrison is up with one down. And uh, let's see what that gets him. And he, that's um, Murphy makes the catch, so it's a second out, and Kemp is up. And that is going to be a single. So Kemp has a base hit to keep the inning going with Tony Pena, the catcher, up at the plate. And that is going to be an out and no runs for the Pirates. And so we've got Atlanta is back up the plate here with their one nothing lead and Rafael Ramirez batting. As I said, he did appear in the original game as the shortstop and he flew out to Hendrick. And then that brings up Albert Hall. And he's going to get a single. So Albert Hall's aboard with Zane Smith on, or Zane Smith at the plate. I'm going to bunt. I don't like bunting, but I will try for the bunt here. And it does move Hall over, and there are two outs now. And that brings up Glenn the Mother Hubbard, old Mother Hubbard, leadoff hitter, and he was the leadoff hitter in the original game. But he gets no runs and we go to the top of the third. So Zane Smith. And now this is, uh, he was gone by this or at some point in this inning in the original game, but he's going strong right here. And that is going to be a ground out. So Rick Roden, the pitcher is up at the plate. Zane Smith will deal to him. And that's going to be an out. So that's a second down, and we're back at the top of the lineup with poor old Johnny Ray, the second baseman. And that's going to be a pop-out to Cerrone, who is now up at the plate for Atlanta in the bottom of the third. We'll swing away with him. And Cerrone gets on with a single, and Murphy is up. So that's exactly the situation Atlanta would love to see, is Murphy up with. Um, but he's out. And so now Horner's up with, with two down, and that was a double play. Yeah, so nobody on base, and that's going to be, looks like a single. Falls in the single range, and Horner has himself a base hit. 
and uh, Oberkfell. And in case you're wondering, I don't have a lot of experience with Digital Diamond. I've played a few games. I've uh, experimented with it, but I haven't really used it extensively. Although it does look like a pretty cool game. And now Brad Comments is up with two down and two on. It's a big time here, a big situation for Comments, and it looks like he might get a single. And uh, yeah, he does, and he drives in a run. So you can see that the uh, the scoreboard's flashing up there in the bottom of the third, and it's a two nothing game. Roden is Roden is playing the role of Zane Smith from the original game in this one. Uh, but that's an out, and that is where it ends. We go to the top of the fourth um, with uh, Marvell Wynn, the batter. Now, Marvell Wynn, he was a speedy guy, but he wasn't a real good hitter. And that looks like it's going to fall in the range of a single, though. And, um, yeah, we're going we're gonna to pitch to Hendrick. George Hendrick is now up with one on, no outs. And looks like he's going to get an out. And it's an out to the pitcher and resulted in a double play. So now there's two down. And Thompson is the batter. Jason Thompson, the first baseman. And he is out. So Atlanta is now up in the bottom of the fourth. Um, ahead 2 nothing, And Albert Hall is the batter. And he is going to be out. So there's one down. And Zane Smith is the hitter. Zane Smith pitching a great game. So in this version, we're not going to take him out. Um, and remember, the uh, first game was a high-scoring affair. It was 7-5. to five. This one is only 2 nothing so far. And Glenn Hubbard, the second baseman for Atlanta, is the batter. And it looks like he's going to be out. And so um, we go to the bottom of the fifth and, um, or is it the bottom? No, it's the top of the fifth. The top of the fifth and Zane Smith dealing to Morrison. And that's going to be an out. And that brings up Steve Kemp with one down and nobody on. One away here in the fifth, and he will get a single. He rips a base hit. He's aboard with one down and Pena the batter. And that's going to be what? That looks like it's going to be a strikeout. So there's two down and Bill Allman, Billy Allman. Now, Bill Allman, I think, ha he either had a pinch hit or he I considered him to pinch hit in the original game. But he, and I did have his card, but he didn't play regular for the team. And there is two outs with Kemp at second and Bill Allman still up. And that's going to be a walk. So now there's two aboard with Rick Roden, the pitcher up. And we're going to let him hit. Um, he was, as I recall, he was a three-hitting pitcher. So not a terrible hitting pitcher, but not great. And he's going to be out. So we go to the bottom of the fifth with Atlanta holding a 2 nothing lead in the game. Uh, they actually scored five in the original and here's Cerrone batting second. I have no idea in the world why Cerrone would be your second place hitter. But um, apparently that's what they want to do here. Dale Murphy, Mighty Dale, is the next batter. I don't recall that he's really uh, done too much today. and But he's going to get a double. So that is something. That's a lot better than what he did in the first game. One down, Murphy at second, and Horner up. And you know the Pirates don't want to see that situation. But that's going to be an out. And now Oberkfell is the batter with two away and Murphy at second. They don't want to strand him up there. 
going to see what Oberkfell can do, and that's going to be nothing because he's out. So Johnny Ray, we're back at the top of the Pirates lineup here in the top of the sixth. And Zane Smith is going to deal. It's a good game, 2 nothing. Both pitchers pitching well. Unlike what happened in the first game, both starting pitchers were relieved in the first game. And Marvell Wynn is up with one down. And he's going to, it looks like he's going to be out of fly out to Kaminsk. So there's two outs and Hendrick is the batter. Here in the top of the sixth, Pirates trying to break through, trying to get, um, some runs and go ahead of Atlanta, certainly trying to tie him. But um, Atlanta's batting here in the bottom of the sixth, still holding a two nothing to on two to nothing lead, and that'll be an out for Comins. He's going to ground out to Thompson, and Ramirez is the batter. He's swinging away. Of course, this was in the '80s, so the pitchers. They're pretty hardy. They can go the game if the game, you know, continues to be a low-scoring affair. And Hall is the batter. And it looks like he's going to get a single. It looks like it's going to settle on a single for him. With two down and um, Zane Smith the batter. And they're just going to let him hit because there's two away. And that is an out. So the Pirates are up in the top of the seventh. But it is getting late for them. And Zane Smith will deal to Thompson. And that's going to be a single. So Thompson's aboard with a hit. He's trying to start a little rally here for the Pirates with Jim Morrison up. And Jim Morrison... There was a pinch runner. Orsalak is a pinch runner for the Pirates. And Jim Morrison is going to be out. Remains to be seen. That was just one out, so it's a fielder's choice. Or it's a pop-out or something like that. It looks like it's a pop-out or something. Or a fly ball to Cominsk. And so, um, Kemp is up. And Kemp looks like he's going to get a single out of this. And, hmm. Is Zane Smith tired? Is that what that means? There's a little orange bar around him. Um, no, Orsalak was out. Orsalak was out trying to take third. So there's two down now with Kemp aboard and Pena up. And that is going to be what? Needs to settle on something. And... Um, Kemp is up at second. There's two down. Pena's still up. So I guess it was a pass ball or something happened there. I'm not reading in the top. So I'm just looking at what's happening on the field here. And that looks like it's going to be the first run for the Pirates. So it's 2-1 to one now with Pena at second and Bill Allman up. And that looks like it's going to be a strikeout. So it's 2-1. to one. Very good game here. Bottom of the seventh. And Hubbard is the batter. And Hubbard will hit away. And looks like Hubbard's going to get a single. Going to get himself a single to center field. And uh, Cerrone is up. He's going to swing away. I don't do a lot of bunting. I don't do a lot of hit and run. I don't do stuff like that. But that's going to be one out, and Hubbard is still at first. Which brings up Dale Murphy, Mightle, Mighty Dale, as a friend of mine likes to call him, who's an Atlanta Braves fan, believe it or not. Two runners are on with one down and Bob Horner the batter. Another reason that I've decided to do this replay is not only because I've never done something like this before, but also because uh, Oberkfell is up at the plate with two down and two runners on. 
also because it did get a pretty good reception that first game that i did card and dice so i'm figuring maybe these two teams are two teams that people like to see play each other who knows so rick roden is the batter here he's leading off in the eighth i think we can probably say that we're going to uh, oh wait 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 i'm not controlling him no i'm I, so we'll see if they pinch hit for Roden. It's not up to me to pinch hit for him. And they do. They are going to pinch hit for him with Lee Mazzilli. Now, I didn't have Lee Mazzilli's card on those Pirates. I don't know. Maybe he was on the Mets um, in the card set that I have. Um, and maybe he went to the Pirates later in the year. I don't know. But Ray is up with one down now. They're trying to tie the game here. So... They are going to, and it'll be interesting to see who the Pirates bring in, too. Um, and that's an out, so there's two down with Marvell Wynn at the plate. And it looks like he's going to walk. So he does, he walks. And um, we're going to pitch to Hendrick. Zane Smith pitching really out of his head here. I mean, a lot better than he did in the, in the other game. But he walks the next batter, so there's two on with two down and Madlock up. And Madlock, I think, was inserted into the game at some point. And he walks, and the bases are loaded. Zane Smith out there, but there's two down. I'm going to see if I can get Zane Smith through this inning at least. And um, the next batter is Morrison, and Morrison is out. So I did get him through the inning. Might uh, put in a reliever for him. They bring in Kent to Colby, so they're going right to the stopper. It's 2-1, to one, and they're going right to their closer, even though they are losing the game. And Kaminsk is the batter here in the bottom of the eighth. And he's out, so Ramirez is up. And with Ramirez up, I am going to swing away, obviously. And he is out. There's two down. And that brings up Albert Hall. And Albert Hall looks like he walks. Yep. And Zane Smith is up. So I am going to uh, pinch hit for him or attempt to figure out how to pinch hit for him. Okay, so we have figured out how to get a pinch hitter or to at least think about getting a pinch hitter into the game. So I'm going to say okay. And yeah, all right, so that puts Claude L. Washington, hopefully it'll put Claude L. Washington into pinch hit. And it does. And so we will swing away. And that was an out. And so we go to the bottom of the ninth inning. And I do need um, to go to the bullpen. I'm going to bring in Gene Garber only because he was in the original game. So... We're going to do that. We're going to bring in Gene Garber. I mean, I would normally bring in like Suter, but I'm trying to play this as close to the actual game. Got to put him in the ninth place in the lineup. All right. So that's, that's how you do it. All right. So he's in. <clears throat> and we'll see if Garber can shut everything down. Shut it down with Steve Kemp, the batter. In a two-to-one game, really good game, a lot better. Well, I don't want to say it was a lot better than the other one. The other one ended seven to five with just higher scoring. Uh, Pena is up. We're going to pitch to Pena, and that's going to be looks like in the out range, and it is. And then we are going to pitch to Almond, and. Looks like that is going to be a single. 
So Allman gets a base hit. He keeps things alive for the Pirates. And Tecalvi is up. Going to be a pinch, a pinch hitter, Lescano. Yeah, Lescano was coming on to pinch hit for Allman. Or, no, Allman's at first. He's pinch hitting for someone else. And he's going to get a single. So there's two runners on with two down. And this game couldn't be any tighter. And that's going to be a walk to load the bases. The bases are loaded. Gene Garber out there pitching to win. Two down. Bases loaded. The Pirates losing two to one. You couldn't have wanted this game to turn out any better. But it looks like that's going to be an out that's going to end the game and out to Horner at first base. The game is over. It's 2-1. to one. That was a really good game. Had everybody on the edge of their seat. And um, let's see if there is a way to go find the box score. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah, there we go. All right, so here's the Pittsburgh box score. I'll let you guys take a look at it and see what went on there. Uh, there's Pittsburgh's batters. There's Atlanta's batters. And there's the pitching Zane Smith a lot better in this game. He pitched eight. He allowed six hits and only one earned run. And then Garber came in. Pitched an inning, allowed three guys to reach base, but he did get the save. And that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.